All right, everybody, today we're back and I'm going to take you through a full weather brief uh, for a cross-country flight and show you everything you want to be looking at to ensure you have a good understanding of the weather in your area prior to going flying. So with our example, we're going to be departing Kitchener at, we'll say, 2 o'clock local, which would be 1900 Zulu in um, this this time of year, we're going to depart Kitchener and we're en route to Muskoka. So, step number one, um, as a quick outline here, we're going to start with the GFA. We want to go from big picture to small picture. Then we're going to look at the METARs and TAFs, uh, looking at the forecast, getting into satellite and radar, see what's happening with the clouds, air mets, sig mets, pyreps, and then the upper winds and no TAMs. So we'll come over to the Aviation Weather website and bring up the GFA. Um, Ontario and Quebec where we're flying and we'll start with the 18 clouds and weather. So here's the clouds and weather Ontario Quebec region is valid at 18 Zulu which is one o'clock local time one hour prior to our departure. Um, so looking at the weather here, we're departing out of Kitchener, which is right on the border of this scalped area. So to the south of us, uh, the clouds are a few 3,000, topped at 6,000 plus six statute miles. So that looks good, but definitely some weather to the north here. So from Kitchener, there's Lake Simcoe, Muskoka is just right up on the north right there. So in this entire scalped area. We have broken layers from 8,000 to 16,000. We have scattered from 3,000 to 5,000, plus six statute miles. Uh, we also have a symbol here, come over to our legend, freezing drizzle in the area. Looks like they have it on the northern shoreline of Georgian Bay. Um, local, we have two statute miles of light freezing drizzle or light snow, mist, Ceilings 800 AGL over northern Ontario. Um, and we also have isolated Alto Cumulus Castellanus topped at 16,000, causing five statute miles from light snow showers, ceilings 1500 AGL. So that, those two, um, the isolated and local forecasts could definitely be an issue for our, our VFR flight. Uh, other stuff I want to look at is the wind dart here so it looks like the winds out of the south 15 gusting to 25. we have a low pressure moving at 10 knots with the warm front up to the north looks like a cold front coming in behind um, but that low is moving to, into our area um, all this weather up to the north we got a nice high pressure clear skies but not in our flight region well now for the same time period we're going to take a look at the icing turbulence and freezing level um, starting at 18 Zulu and we have a low level jet at 45 knots just to the south of our departure area here and a couple uh, a few things going on here so starting with the icing we have moderate mixed icing from 8,000 to 12,000 and note that was the same as the cloud layer. So into the clouds here, they're predicting ice. We also have moderate mechanical turbulence from the surface to 3000 AGL, um, low level wind shear as well. So that's expected with, with a low level jet. You know, we had the, had the strong winds out of the south, similar to what we're showing with the jet here. Up to the north, they got some moderate mixed icing as well from three to 12,000, that low pressure still moving in. Um, so we could expect turbulence down low. It's gonna be bumpy. May or may not wanna be flying in that, could make the landing challenging, um, as well as some icing there. The freezing level is definitely on the surface, looking at the dotted line. Anything to the north is on the surface here. All right, so now let's look at the plus six because this is going to be going to midnight. We're flying in between the two charts. 
We'll start with the clouds and weather. And we'll, we can see the low has moved in a little bit closer here. Um, in this scalped area, the south is still the same, uh, but in the area of our flight, broken layers bought based at 8,000 to 16,000, scattered from 3,000 to 5,000, and plus six statute miles, local five statute miles in light snow, ceilings 1,500 feet AGL. So quite similar, everything just kind of shifted over to the east. Um, we could take a look at the plus 12. It's going to be well into the night. We're not flying during that time period, so we're not going to. We will look at the icing. Looks like the winds have died down. Moderate mixed icing from 8 to 12 in that same cloud layer. So it looks like it's actually improving as the day goes on. So that gave us a, a good overall picture of what's happening in the area. Now we want to refine that specific to our flight route. So we're going to look at some METARs and TAFs. And if we look at our route on the chart here, out of Kitchener, we want to build a circle around your flight path and get a, a good idea of what's going on with the weather. So we'll type in Kitchener, they have a TAF, we'll put in Toronto Pearson, we'll put in Borden, which is located right around here, and we'll put in Muskoka. Um, some of the other areas are Wyerton, but it's getting pretty far away. Anything to the north, there's not much until North Bay definitely has one, but it's pretty far away. Out to the east, there's Peterborough, there's Oshawa, but the weather's kind of coming in from the west. So we'll take a look at Kitchener. We can put in Toronto there. We can put in Wyerton, Borden, Muskoka, And we'll take a look at this. So starting with the TAF, um, we can skip from all the way down to 17 Zulu. Um, this is going to be 12 o'clock. And the next one's midnight. So we're flying in between this time period. So we're going to start right here. So from today at 17 Zulu, which will be 12 o'clock local, winds 210, 12 gusting 22 knots, plus 6 statute miles, few 2,000, scattered 8,000. Uh, so a few layer is, it's at 2,000 feet. Remember, this is AGL, so it'd be around 3,000 feet indicated. Um, and it looks like we can, the next scattered layer is at 8. So not too much of a worry. And then moving on, you know, it looks like it's improving throughout the day. Currently, it's 18 Zulu. So they're we're within this time period. And they're showing 17 gusting 22, so the winds are accurate, and they're saying it's clear. Temperature's minus 5, dew point minus 10, your altimeter setting. Looks like the pressure's dropping with the altimeter setting, and that makes sense as that low pressure is coming in from the west. We'll take a look at Toronto Pearson. Um, we want to see something after 19. So we'll look at the 16 and the 20. The winds are the same. Out of the southwest, 10 gusting 20. Six miles visibility. They do have some snow there. Uh, broken 2,000. That could be an issue. Um, roughly around the 3,000 indicated there. And then moving on to 20. So this would be a, an hour into our flight. They're having some snow move in. Um, looks like Borden is the TAF period has ended. Next forecast is going to be later today. So we'll look at Muskoka. Um, so they currently, we'll look at the TAF. If we're leaving around 19, we'll probably get there somewhere around 20 Zulu. Um, so if we take a look at their TAF, so it was issued uh, today, 1240 Zulu. So it's valid today at 13 to 0701. The wind 1510 gust 20 plus six statute miles. They have light snow in the forecast, scattered 2000, broken 8000, overcast 11000, and tempo. So temporarily between our flight period, there are three statute miles, light snow, overcast 2000, and they have a prob 40 of 14 to 24. 
Um, so this is definitely within our definitely within our flight time um, in the Muskoka. It looks like they're going to have some snow coming in, some lower cloud. I probably would not be out here flying um, in weather like this VFR. So Muskoka is not looking the best. Let's keep on going with our weather brief and see what's actually happening. If we look at the satellite, we can look at Eastern Canada, the, the visible satellite's gonna show us current cloud cover. And we'll just play this, it's gonna go through the time and we'll be able to see the movement of the cloud. So fairly stationary, but you can definitely see we have lots of cloud cover along our route. Nice clear skies to the south in the states, but here's our low pressure moving in. Alrighty, handy to know. Next we're going to look at some AirMet and SigMets. So we have both selected. For Ontario, Quebec, there's no AirMet, there's no SigMet. Um, it could be with that low level jet, there could be turbulence in these uh, air mets or sig mets, so it doesn't look like anything's reported there. Next, we're going to take a look at Pyreps. So we'll select the Pyrep for Toronto here, and a couple Pyreps out there today. Uh, the top one here is Sudbury, and it gives you the time. Your flight level is during the climb. The type was a CRJ 200. Sky overcast 8,000, and the icer, icing was moderate mixed below 8,000. So there's icing up in Sudbury. Coming down here, we have CYXZ, which is up Wawa. So not close to where we're going to be flying, but they got some viz, two to four miles, ceiling 1,000 feet, lower ceiling with higher terrain. Um, and then we have... CYYB, North Bay, closest one to us, still well to the north of our flight. Um, there's the time, 1636. The flight level was during descent. PC-12, so 2,500 to 7,000. Overcast, and they got uh, light, clear icing at 2,500 feet. So not close to us, but it is good to note that. And then we have another one in Wawa here. Um, it is good to know that there definitely is icing out there in uh, in this system with the forecast. So the forecast is accurate. We want to be very vigilant of possible icing conditions in that Muskoka area. Next, uh, we are going to look at the upper winds. Expecting strong upper winds with the low-level jet. So we'll sl uh, go below flight level 180 for the Ontario Quebec. And Toronto is going to be the closest one down here right at the bottom. So for use, so these were valid today at 18. They're for use from 17 to 21, which is where we're flying. From 3,000, 230 at 30, 6,000, 250 at 52 knots. So that's going to be a good wind. Uh, coming from the southwest, so I definitely would be climbing up today and taking advantage of that 5,500 take advantage of the tailwind you're going to get there in no time coming back stay as low as you can to avoid uh, avoid that headwind coming back you're not going to be going very fast very strong upper wind next we're going to look at no tams so uh fairly recent change they no longer have no tams on the aviation weather website we have to come to the collaborative flight planning services Weather in NOTAM tab, we'll punch in our stations, check off NOTAM and search. Um, and then we're going to read the information. Here's the valid date from here. So 22, first month, 27th day, 2036 Zulu to 2022. This will be April 25th, 15 Zulu EST. Um, Border services are temporary suspended, not required for us. Next, NOTAM, we want to read the times. Talking about Ukraine, not 
valid to us. This is talking about the North Atlantic track system, not valid to us. Um, prevent the spread of COVID-19 through Canada. Flight operators, if you have passengers, wear face masks. Um, commercial air services, preventing the spread of COVID. We're not a commercial air service. Operating, shorter risk of fuel, not. Okay, finally, no TAM that's going to apply to us. So out of Kitchener, this is a runway service condition, and we want to always double check the dates, make sure it's valid. So 2022, February 6th, 1629 Zulu. So that's going to be 1130 roughly today until earlier, later tonight. So runway service condition of 08 is 666. That is maximum braking. They're saying each third of the runway is dry, 130 foot wide. Remaining width is ice, and that's valid through here. Uh, runway 26, the exact same. Runway 1432 is 10% 1 8 inch wet snow, 10% ice, and that is valid through all of today. And then additional, the runway friction index are not required because it's it's a high value caution taxiway slippery apron slippery so uh, the runways they're in in good shape now in Kitchener we check the dates here taxiway Bravo between taxiway Bravo Alpha and apron 3 is closed so check that out on the airport diagram multiple cranes alrighty we're VFR keep a good eye out the runway data is changed. Runway 0826, non standard markings. Now we're into Muskoka. Check out the runway service condition. So 10% compacted snow, 10% ice, 10% compacted snow, 10% ice. So for each third, and that's valid for all of today. Actually, the 19, it's going to be expired by the time we're up there. Um, runway 36 is the same no runway friction index runway 0927 is closed so that's definitely important to know in that the dates are active um so we'll, we'll mark that down excellent so nothing stopping us from going flying in the NOTAMs and that is going to conclude the weather brief so we've covered everything you want to be looking at a couple good factors like the upper wind very important today that turbulence with the snow in Muskoka I wouldn't be out there flying VFR for sure um, we'll wait for a better day to do the flight I was hope hope you guys found this helpful and uh, check out some of my other videos on how to read a GFA and how to read a Matar and Taft that goes a little bit more in depth